So the next thing is actually we will program cuts the buttons. So what happens when the user actually click on the button in the repeater control? Right. Uh, why mean that? That's the one. So there's something that is listening the button. So then the code is showing right here in the button as items commands. So here we declare a repeater item and same thing. We're going to do uh, some adding some columns. And the first thing we do is to find whether the user is clicking on the add button. Now, if that does happen, what we will simply do is scanning all the repeater items. So that means scanning from the row one to the row two and to the row three. So the first row, it will get the value, the value, which is, which is this, this value, this value by using item dot file control. And the second line here is to get the value found in this control, which name as text isbm and it will convert the value into a string and the next thing is it will set these two values into a data table it does this by creating a row a single row so that once we need scanning the first row it will do the second row so the second row do does the same it takes the first control, which is text, which is a uh, text book titles, followed by text ISBN, and add a remove remove button, and you add all this into a data tables, and creating a new row in the data table. So it does this until it finishes last so that is the case when user click on the add button so so that's how it works so now let's look at when a user does not click on add instead it is actually click on the button remove so how does this could looks like so here it goes to the else if case and else if so else if first it checked command name so whether the user are clicking on a remove button yes it does remove a, the user button so here when user click on remove button one thing to be consider is that which remove button is the user clicking so the, I will explain in the in a short while. Uh, thank you.